We are in America, traveling and exploring for a few weeks. We left Suleiman with his nano and left for a little trip to explore a few cities that have been on our list for quite some time. First, we plan to visit Los Angeles in California. Los Angeles, known as the city of hopes and dreams, has always been on our bucket list to visit. It is the most popular city in the state of California, famous for Hollywood studios, TV and movie industries, and gorgeous beaches making LA a popular vacation spot. Hello everyone. Well, we are going to LA. Solomon is staying with my mom. And I know he will have best time there. We are very excited, nervous at the same time. It's the first time I'm leaving Solomon. So. Yeah, she's still crying about that. We took our flight to LA from Dallas Love Field Airport, a smaller regional airport in Dallas for domestic flights. Checking in, we bought a few snacks for the flight and waited to board. I am somehow impressed with this vending machine from Farmer Fridge, full of organic and healthy food. We booked our flight with Delta Airlines, which was around a three and a half hour journey. The seats were really comfortable with entertainment screens in front and we also had a free Wi-Fi on board. was busy playing an online game while I was watching movie. Well, it was quite a peaceful flight. As a mom, I'm not used to this peace and terribly miss Suleiman, although it's only been two hours since we left him. Staff of Delta Airlines was professional and polite. We didn't book any meals on board but they kept offering us coffee, drinks and complimentary snacks every few minutes. It was pleasant afternoon when we landed in LA. Our experience with Delta Airlines was great and we highly recommend them. Can't wait to fly with them again. We took a taxi from the airport to our hotel which was around a 40 minute drive and cost us $85 with an additional tip. hotel was on Hollywood Boulevard and we don't recommend staying on this street for various reasons, which we will explain in detail. We noticed a few tents of homeless people and junkies around the area but we ignored this at that time. In the UK we usually get a kettle in our hotel room but here we had a coffee machine. 
work what mm-hmm. else we can ask for After some rest we headed to explore downtown Los Angeles and went to a nearby metro station. It was early evening and surprisingly the metro station was quiet compared to metro stations in other mega cities. Perhaps the reason is that LA is a car center city and people avoid public transport anyway we had no idea about this Hello so, so imagine 4:30 p.m. on London underground There's no one here Looks like those haunted subways and movies isn't it I know There are only like four or five people on and it's 4 5 p.m. on a Monday evening <coughs> and it's near hollywood yeah it's a hollywood station so yeah so maybe surprised. people take uh, buses or i think maybe it's right maybe the metro station is not much popular very sure yeah it's very quiet here <laughs> <laughs> anyways well, if we survive this ride we'll see you later Well, we did survive the ride, but downtown looks different from what we were expecting. Hello, everyone. We are at downtown LA, and yeah, I, I'm not digesting it. It's five thirteen. It's and very it's, quiet it's here. Very quiet. It's not crowded at all. Very strange. Very strange. I don't know if it is normal. Very surprising. Yes. Anyways, so we are going to eat first before we walk more. We are at Red Chick. Red Chick. It's halal in downtown. Yeah. There are plenty of options actually. We will share the link of the app, which can give you the. Names of the restaurants nearby. All halal restaurants, all halal groceries. Yeah, and most nearby. We ordered two chicken sandwiches. So basically, for Britishers, it's a burger. It's a burger. But Only for the rest of the world, it's a burger. Yes. So for the rest of the world, for it's Americans, a, it's a it's sandwich. a sandwich. So it looks yummy. After having food, we explored downtown Los Angeles. Perhaps we were on the wrong side of downtown, or maybe the entire downtown looks haunted and full of junkies. We kept walking from one street to the another in search of a better place, but all areas were same. It's not like we are new to traveling, but actually, we never thought downtown of iconic LA would be like this. As first-time visitors, we were shocked. We should have done some research before visiting here. Don't recommend visiting Hollywood Boulevard or downtown Los Angeles as it is full of junkies, homeless people in tents and garbage everywhere. We were even attacked by a junkie at the metro station when we were coming back to the hotel. Of course, that's not recorded and we were safely escaped. Certainly, it was the last time we used public transport in LA. I hope the authorities clean the area and make it safe for families to visit. Ideally you should rent a car in LA or use Uber or taxis.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड डोंट फॉर्गेट टू वॉच पार्ट टू